So the class is being recorded. And uh, so what is it that we're doing tonight? We are uh, starting, um, you know, uh, one uh, of a series of revision classes. And like I said before, I started the recording to say that these are revision classes would be a misnomer. Misnomer means that it's not um, um, an appropriate title or name or term. Why? Because um, the course that we're having is not a knowledge uh, course or is not a subject based course where you have knowledge and information and chapters and units and you process them and you go to the final exam uh, or any exam for that matter and put um, them there. Uh, our course is uh, a skill based course and um, we uh, over the past 13 or 14 weeks we try to uh, help you develop a skill of writing. The skill of writing is a skill like other skills, like the skill of driving, like the skill of reading. So uh, the exam is obviously different. It's not knowledge that we're going to test over there. It's um, the skill and the level of proficiency that you have, uh, you know, developed with this skill. So that's why the, um, the final exam is about essays that uh, you don't know about. It is about, um, you know, checking something. It is about detecting errors and mistakes in, in uh, perhaps a passages. So the approach should be different. If you're approaching a subject, um, you know, course, when it comes to exams, your approach should be different from uh, how you approach um, a skill-based uh, course um, in terms also of exams. Um, so there is obviously nothing to revise, but there is a lot that we can, you know, practice so that uh, we can uh, perhaps enhance the skills that we have developed over the weeks. Okay, so the, the, the theoretical part is going to be very small if you compare it to the, perhaps the amount of practice that we're going to do together. Again, we still have uh, perhaps uh, more than 10 days and that would uh, allow us to the opportunity to perhaps meet more than once and uh, during uh, these meetings we can always um, edit and proofread we can also critique um, and scan essays for errors and mistakes and also um, you know suggest solutions as how those errors can be overcome um, <clears throat> Um, let me uh, also address myself to the idea of the TMA and how disappointed I was with your performance in the TMA. Um, again, um, lots of similarities, which I didn't like. Um, the idea that you create your own title and you answer your own questions. You don't answer the questions that we pose, but you answer your own questions. You create a title that is different uh, from the essay prompt. And the um, end result would be um, an essay that we, we didn't ask for. So um, lots, lots of that. I have seen lots of that. And I have given marks and grades accordingly. So if you have created your own title, 
uh, it means that you have uh, created your own question and you set about to answer your own question. So it's a question that we didn't ask. Okay, you can give yourself 20 out of 20 because this is your question and this is your answer to it. Okay, but our question was different. That's why we gave you what you deserved, which is obviously very low because you answered the questions that you felt comfortable with, not our questions. Um, perhaps uh, when we meet again next time, perhaps tomorrow or the day after, we can give samples of what you have been doing in the TMA and why you were given the mark that you were given. Um, I'm sure lots of people are not happy about their marks uh, and they have themselves to blame for that, of course. I would have liked to given you, uh, to have given you, I would, I, I would have liked to give you, you know, good marks. But of course, there are standards that people should follow um, so that they can earn the good mark that they um, aspire for, if you like. Anyway, enough talk. Let me uh, uh, remind you of what we have been doing over the weeks and then move to the editing and proofreading part. Um, I think uh, I need to share no, screen. Let's see. Can you see that? Hello? Yes, now we can see it. Okay, good. So what is it that you can see? Everything you need to know about the five different types of essays. Okay, okay. So uh, do they look familiar? I mean, these different types of essays. Are, are we missing something? Look at them. Expository, descriptive narrative, uh, compare and contrast, persuasive. Um, yes, we, we took also process. Yeah, process. Uh, we're, perhaps we're not too familiar with expository. Um, expository is about explaining something. So you would think that process and expository are similar, which is actually the case. They are similar, but they are not identical. Uh, process is perhaps more direct. When I say process essay, it means that I'm talking about stages and steps that people engage in, in order to um, um, perhaps explain to someone how uh, he or she can do something, right? So, uh, process analysis, descriptive, narrative, compare and contrast, uh, and finally persuasive, which uh, we sometimes call argumentative, right? Um, of course, you know the difference by now. Of course, you know how every and each uh, of them means. And, uh, um, you know, the associations uh, that comes to our mind when we talk about every nature. So um, I'll start with the descriptive. And I said that description is all about describing. And describing means that you are describing someone, you're describes, describing something, right? You're describing a place. You're describing an, ele an element of nature. So, uh, I mean, the list is endless when it comes to description. And uh, description is all over the place. You can be uh, writing a narrative essay and there is a measure or a bit of description to it. 
You can be comparing and contrasting and there is description in both. You can be persuading and you can also um, include descriptive elements. So description, uh, as you can see, is about um, using, using adjectives, right, and adverbs. So uh, describing would be using words like smart, beautiful, sad, catastrophic, uh, of course, depending on uh, the essay that you're writing and the situation that you are capturing or describing. So use adjectives and you also use um, adverbs in order to describe actions and be and you know, behavior, right? Um, so a great deal of adjectives and adverbs are used when it comes to description. Um, um, this is description and we have seen samples and you yourself have done uh, a great deal of description, whether as individual essays or as part of, uh, of other essays. Um, and then we have narrative. Um, narrative essays are all about recounting an experience or uh, sharing um, a situation, narrating a story. Okay, narrative can be fiction where you are perhaps telling a fictional story or non-fictional, uh, which is um, talking about uh, life and narrating um, events and incidents in life. Right. Um, narration is about reporting. So narration is reporting what actually happened um, from your own perspective, um, perhaps from the perspective of others. Um, it depends on how you would like your reader to, to get the messages that you're trying to get across to him or her. Um, and then we spoke about um, comparing and contrasting essays. And we said that um, comparing and contrasting is a mental activity that we, um, we are engaged in uh, on a daily basis. It's a mental activity. Um, that's why we, we were doing it without even knowing that we're doing it. Um, we said uh, we, we are engaged in, in, in comparisons all the time. You compare, you are in a university, uh, perhaps at the beginning of the semester, and you're comparing um, two teachers teaching the same course. You compare classes, you compare, um, you know, uh, restaurants, you're out for lunch and uh, you're comparing between two different uh, restaurants in terms of the style of food, in terms of the ingredients, in terms of even the brand, right? You compare cars, for example, if you're uh, considering buying a car, you would be comparing Japanese um, and American cars, for example, you would be comparing cars from within the same um, you know, country, for example, you compare Honda and Toyota and Mazda, right? Um, we also, when we spoke about comparing, we said comparing would mean that you address the similarities, while contrasting would refer to the differences. Again, when we spoke about comparing and contrasting, we said that we have two styles. We have the point by point style where you uh, start by finishing off a point and then, uh, I mean, no, you, 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 you take up a point and then you talk about the two things that you're comparing uh, based on this point. Um, and the other style is called the plot style, where you normally finish um, everything, and then uh, um, uh, everything about one side in a 
in a certain point, and then you move to the second person, perhaps in the second paragraph, and you talk about the self same thing. But this is called block style, and it's uh, it's not an amazing style. I and mean, people would be more inclined to like, um, you know, a point by point style. But point by point style is perhaps. Uh, um, yeah, it is more professional and it would uh, perhaps need more training. Um, okay, and then we moved on and we spoke about persuasive essays and we said that persuasion is also something that we do. Uh, Doctor, I'm, I'm yes. sorry to interrupt. Can you please re raise your voice? Our, our put the microphone closer for somehow for some reason it's uh, so low and i and i can't hear properly right let me ask all the others if they have yeah. the same if they share the sentiment okay. do, you, do you guys uh, am, am i am i loud enough or uh, what do you think no <clears throat> your voice is very clear very clear mashallah that's it <laughs> okay so i tried طيب I'll, I'll try to uh, kind of raise it uh, so that uh, Hala can, can also hear with us. Uh, okay, so again, uh, I'm talking, uh, we're talking about the different types of essays that we have um, developed and uh, gone through. And we're talking about persuasive essays and uh, like um, uh, compare and contrast. Essays, per persuasive essays are also all over the place because the idea of persuasion is also um, uh, common to human beings. It's something that we also do on a regular basis, whether hourly or um, daily. Or uh, Persuasion is about convincing people and you convince people on different occasions. You convince and when you go to the market and you uh, uh, perhaps convince, uh, you try to convince the uh, the seller of something that the price uh, uh, that you're offering is the best and he also tries, he or she tries to convince you that he is giving you a deal by giving you the price that he is offering. Um, you know, you persuade your son to perhaps uh, read more, to write more, to uh, go out from time to time, to to talk to this person and not to talk to that person, right? You have uh, on the professional level, uh, perhaps part of your job is to to do uh, to market a product or a service and in this case you will need to persuade people to convince them that the service or the product that you are uh, giving them is the best so it takes a great deal of persuasion so as you can see uh, persuasiveness and persuasion uh, um, are uh, you know um, part of your daily toolkit, uh, whether you are a normal human being or a professional uh, marketer or salesperson. Um, also, I mean, wh what I'm doing now is uh, in, in, in part persuasive or persuasion. Um, you know, convincing you of something, I mean, re I mean uh, sharing with you something as a teacher and pre presenting it in a, in a persuasive way is also persuasion, right? So what is interesting about persuasion is that it is all over the place and at all times, so you, don't, you wouldn't find the transition to uh, writing to or to persuasive writing very difficult or very challenging because of the um, the fact that it is something that you are used to that you are trained in that you are wired and trained to do in your life um, the only difference between pers persuasiveness um, on the spoken level 
and on the writing level would be the fact that there are rules and regulations in writing that you have to follow. Um, of course, you write everything uh, regardless of the type of essay in, uh, in an essay format, and an essay format means that you have to have uh, paragraphs, and you have to uh, divide the paragraphs um, in a certain way so, so that they can appeal to the reader. Um, typically, um, an essay would have an introduction and then a number of body paragraphs and, of course, a conclusion. And when I say that an essay has to have a, an introduction, this is typical of any presentation that you're giving. Um, you don't walk into a room that has people without you introducing yourself and talking about what you intend to uh, talk about. I mean, you just you don't just knock on people's door without having a goal. So also, you don't knock on people's door uh, um, by writing them an essay. Um, by writing them an essay without specifying why you're writing the essay. Why you're writing the essay and how you're going to write it is what we call the thesis statement. And it should go, of course, in the introduction towards the end of the introduction. Um, remember, when you spoke about the introduction, we also said that it has, you have to kind of hook the reader. You have to have uh, his or her attention drawn or grabbed. Okay, and how do you do that? By using um, a hook or a hook. And a hook would mean uh, something interesting, something that catch the attention of your reader. Uh, and what can be, you know, more catchy than perhaps giving a quote? a saying, a wise saying, for example, by asking um, a question that is tricky and um, provocative, right? By sharing a very uh, small anecdote or story, um, very small. Uh, now that you have um, provided the hook that would um, kind of attract the attention of your reader. You would have to provide the, the, the needed background, and then you end the introduction with um, the topic that you're going to address in the rest of the essay and how you're going to address the topic. And this is uh, um, given in what we call the thesis statement. You're familiar with that. And then you move to the body paragraphs, regardless of what type of essay you're writing. You will have to fulfill the promises that you have given in the introduction. In the introduction and towards the end uh, of the introduction, you wrote a thesis statement in which you uh, introduced the topic and also ways as how you're going to handle the topic. So, as a reader, when I go to the body paragraphs, I try to check whether you have done what you said you will you would do in, in the body. You said that I'm going to talk about this or that, and I'm going to talk about it in this or that way. I go to the body paragraphs in order to check whether you have delivered, whether you have fulfilled your promises or not. So uh, you need to always check the body paragraph or paragraphs against what you said in the thesis statement. This is actually how we measure the success or the failure of the writer. If he said that he's going to give reasons why people uh, smoke heavily, for example, so the topic is smoking, is heavy smoking, obviously, and uh, and the reasons for that. So you go and check uh, if the writer has provided reasons because he or she has said that he would provide reasons. If he said that he's going to provide three reasons, you go and look for the three reasons. If you don't find 
if you find two reasons, so the writer is obviously not doing a good job. If you find four and he said that he's going to talk about three, he is also not uh, doing a good job. Um, when, 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 when people write essays, they need to also make sense. So it's obviously not about collecting words and putting them together uh, um, in, in a paragraph, and that would be it. No, they need to make sense, and for them to make sense, you have to appeal to people's sense of knowledge, to your own sense of your, no uh, I'm sorry, uh, logic your own sense of logic as a writer. Uh, writing is about um, building a structure that makes sense. And how can it make sense? It can make sense if you are relevant. Relevant means that I ask you to tell a story and um, you're uh, perhaps talking about um, um, scientific discoveries, for example. I ask you to write about, uh, you know, about food and you uh, write about technology. Uh, this is being irrelevant and of course if you're irrelevant it means that you're not doing a good job. So the idea of relevance is very important. The idea of um, smoothness and transition and lucidity. Lucidity means that you and the transition from one paragraph to another is very smooth. Smooth in the sense that you're not contradicting yourself. You're not saying something in a paragraph, and the second paragraph is something that uh, that contrasts with the first paragraph. No. You need to be able to uh, uh, spot contradiction when you see one. Um, again, is it possible that people uh, fall into the trap of contradiction? Absolutely. Why? Because this is uh, human. Uh, this is something that uh, people warn other people against. Otherwise, we wouldn't have highlighted it in, 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 in classes and uh, in presentations because people are mentally vulnerable. They can, all ma they can make all types uh, of mistakes, mental mistakes, and among or chief among them is actually uh, the uh, the trap of contradiction that lots of people fall uh, into. Uh, so, and also the idea of relevance, people have a tendency to also uh, go irrelevant, and also the idea of digression, and by digression we mean uh, uh, not sticking to the point, not uh, being focused. Focus is very important. Um, you don't normally um, get, uh, you know, get approval, I mean, uh, acceptance uh, when you write an essay if you're um, digressive. If you have this tendency to uh, digress and talk about things that are not really needed in the essay, it's again, uh, um, uh, or it has again um, to do with the idea of focus. If you're focused, you're not going to digress or talk about uh, stuff that we don't need. Um, so relevance is very important, focus is very uh, important, um, <clears throat> and also um, yeah, being lucid and, and not falling into the trap of contradiction. Uh, in order to make the transition between and among the paragraphs easy, and smooth uh, people sometimes help the, the readers by uh, giving them uh, what we call transition words and phrases. Words and phrases that can keep the uh, both the writer 
and uh, the reader focused. And I always compare transition words and phrases to uh, the signs or the traffic signs that we see on the road. If you can imagine a road with a traffic signs, you can also imagine uh, a piece of writing or an essay without um, you know, transition words and phrases. Um, sign posts that you see on the road are meant to help uh, and guide uh, people on the road, whether that they are uh, drivers or even uh, um, uh, people who walk down the street. Um, along the same lines, uh, in an essay, you would need, um, you know, guidance, and this this guidance would take the form of words and phrases. Uh, we uh, normally uh, call um, them transition words and phrases. So again, words like uh, if I say after, if I you know. Uh, that we're, we're talking about something that is after something else. If I say, for example, you know that we are in for an exam. If I say at the end or in, in summary, uh, you know that I'm concluding my essay. If, if I say to start with, it means that I am uh, um, starting to perhaps give you, um, you know, uh, details about something. So these are transition words and phrases, and people use them to make uh, life easy for the reader. The reader. Um, so this is uh, the story of essay writing, regardless of the type of essay that you are writing. So that these different types of essay uh, essays are agreed on. Uh, the idea that you have to have an essay format with an introduction, body paragraphs, and a conclusion. They are also agreed on the idea or on the need for transition words and phrases to, to, to make the essay readable and to make it accessible to everyone. Um, <clears throat> and then we go to the small details that are unique to every and each type of essay, and we have uh, spoken enough about that already. Uh, I leave this part and I, I'll go to the um, <clears throat> to the editing part because uh, uh, editing is about developing sensitivities to errors so that when you yourself write, you try to avoid um, those errors. Uh, and uh, from our experience, from the experience uh, with the exposure to errors, uh, I think some of us have benefited a great deal from um, this exposure to uh, errors and editing them. Um, some of you have started to steer away from the common errors that we uh, spot every and each time. Um, have we done that before? Can you see that? We can't see it yet, Doctor. Yeah, okay, it will come. Hello? Not yet, huh? Not yet? Not yet. No. Okay. Not no. yet, yet, Doctor. Okay, okay. Okay. I think you can see it now, right? Yes. Okay, so this is a pattern, an easy one. Uh, I would like you to look at it 
and try to detect the errors and uh, uh, come up with corrections for them. Uh, I'll give you three minutes for that. Go ahead. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Yeah, can you see that now? Yes, doctor. Okay, go ahead. I'll give you three minutes. Let me know when you have finished. Huh? Can you still see the uh, trying to yes. let me know when you have finished, huh? Okay. Hello. Uh, this is only a small paragraph, by the way, right? Yes, doctor. Yeah. Can we talk about it? Can we talk about the errors? And the errors here are segmental or mechanical errors. Segmental means that we're spotting um, grammar problems, punctuation errors, right? Spelling, if any. Okay. Hello? Okay. I need somebody to come to the mic and tell us about what he or she detected as a mistake or error.
Yes, doctor. Yeah, I, I cannot see you, so you'll have to identify yourself before you speak. Oh, okay. My, my name is Hela. Okay, Hela. Um, the first mistake, my name is Jay Hammond. I'm a fire fi firefighter. Um, mm. It should be a full stop after Jay Hammond and before I am. Right. So what do we call this kind of error, yeah, uh, Hela? Yes. What do we call this kind of error? Uh, segmental. Uh, we call it run on. This is what we call a run on sentence. A run on sentence, yes. It's uh, a punctuation mistake. Yes, absolutely. It's a run on in the sense that instead of having two full stops, you only have one, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Would you like to try your luck with somebody or something else? Um, sure. Okay, go uh, ahead. I live in 129 Pine Lane in Jackson, Mississippi. I live at 128. Ah, yes. OK, what's the difference if, if, if I say, for example, I live and then I have a Pine Lane without a number? What would have would would it have been different if I don't have a number? So the number adds no. specificity. Yeah. Specificity you use at right yes yes so if you don't have a number you would use on right yes okay on or n in 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 british english it would be n but on american Eng uh, in american english it would be on right right because ah. you live on the land on pine line ah. lane, not inside mm. of it yes <laughs> So uh, again, uh, if you have a specific, um, you know, address where you normally have a number, the number of the building, perhaps you would use at. Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay. Can we have somebody else? Can I answer, please? What's your name again? Amira. Amira. Amira what? Pleasure. Amira what? I'm not sure I heard you. Bajan. Uh, Amira Bashan. Okay. Rajan. Rajan. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, there is after uh, I live in. Uh, 128 uh, Pine Lane, there's a full stop, right? Uh, yeah, there is a full there stop. There should be a comma. No, we don't have a follow stop. We actually we have a comma. Um, uh, okay, so I didn't see hmm. right. Uh, okay. After that, it's uh, in line three. I have two children. Uh, ch Child with an S, it should be children. Okay. Or yes. two kids, maybe. Yes. Go on. Go on. Let's do so, four. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Can you move to four? Uh, Would you like to say something about four? Four. One. Uh, okay. Go ahead. I have two children. I will. Go on. So one, one is, is the name the uh, one is a girl named Claire. Um, it could be a uh, better we, said. Uh, we uh, don't have a problem with this, yeah, Amira. We don't have a problem with this sentence. Move on. Move to four. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, the other is a. Uh, oh, uh, it's missing. A boy named. What is in and what is name? I don't know how to read that name. Thatcher. Thatcher. Okay. okay. So can so, you say it again uh, in a correct one. way? The other, uh, the other one, maybe the other one is a boy. It's a boy named uh, Thatcher. 
Yeah, the other one, yeah, it can be this way. The other one is a boy, a boy named uh, Thatcher. Or the other yeah. is a boy, it's the same thing. The other, you, you, I mean, you can drop uh, the other one. You don't have to use one. You can say the other okay. is a boy named Thatcher. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amira. Okay. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Can we move to six? Mm -hmm. Hello? You don't know where the error is in six? His name after my father. Can I participate, Doctor? Yeah, what's your name? Uh, my name is Amjad. Amjad, go ahead, Amjad. Uh, his name uh, is after my father. His name is after my father. And uh, the next one. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm not sure I agree. His name is after my father. Can you say he was named after my father or he is named after my father? Yes. He is named after my father. Okay. Yes. Okay, go on. Go on. Uh, number seven, there is a spelling mistake with beautiful. Yeah, how do you spell beautiful? Uh, B E A U T I F U L. Excellent, Yamiga. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Can we have somebody else for eight? Eight. Nobody for it. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ed. Uh, please, doctor. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we also got uh, a dog uh, named uh, uh, Book. Book. Oh, okay. So what is the problem? Uh, we also got a uh, a dog uh, name uh, book name no name. No name is fine. Uh, we don't. Have, uh, I mean, it's not about named. It's about got, right? So we're talking about the present, obviously, and God is of the past unless He wants to say we also have God. Uh, okay. No. We also, thank you, Ahmed. We also have got a dog named Buck. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. thank you. He, he's very obedient, but sometimes he walks at night and it upsets our neighbors. Okay, so it's very interesting, very short and sweet. Let's move to another one, perhaps. Can you see that? Can you see this one? Yes. Okay, so Dana, it starts with Dana. Can you see Dana? Yes. Okay, good. Let me make it bigger. Well, I'll give you uh, two more minutes for this one. <clears throat>
Okay, easy. Let's do it. So I need a volunteer. Hello. Hello, doctor. Can I ask? Yes, doctor. Yeah. Yes, yeah, doctor. Uh, somebody, I mean, a male, a male voice. Go ahead. What's your name? Uh, my name is Paris. Paris, go ahead. Dana likes to sing and dance. Or you can say Dana likes singing and dancing. Okay. So, so whenever you have like, um, it's um, um, either to and the verb in the base form, of course, or um, I and she, right? So the two of them are correct. But what, what is it that we're using here? If you go on your uh, Ferris, you're going to see. Two thing. And yeah, you, you said two, right? Okay, excellent. Can, can we have one more? So Dana likes to sing and dance, dance. right? Very good. Yeah. Can, can we have, uh, go ahead. And then I enjoy talking on the phone, not in the phone. Uh, on the phone, excellent. Thank you so much, uh, Ferris. So then I enjoy talking on the phone. Thank you so much. Let's move on. Can we have somebody else? Yes. We had two female voices wanting to speak. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yes, doctor. Yes, yeah. doctor. Yeah. Yes. What, what's your name? Yeah, go ahead. Can I, doctor? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Muhammad likes to play uh, chess. I think there is full stop before Dana is studying. Drama, yes, very good. So what do we call this sentence where there is only one full, full stop where there should be two full stops? What do we um, call this sentence? This punctuation. Uh... Yeah, it is a punctuation error in the final analysis, of course, but uh, it has a specific name. I mean, the error has a specific name, and we call it run on sentence. Run, run on. on sentence. Okay. So this is a run on sentence where instead of having two periods or two full stops, you only have one. Okay. Okay, so Mahmoud likes to play chess, and then we're going to put a full stop. And then Dana is studying drama. Can we have one more? What's your name, Fauzia? Yes, Fauzia. Okay, go ahead, Fauzia. Uh, Dana is studying drama in the university. I think mm -hmm. there is a spelling mis mistake. University. Uh, or there is full stop after university, or no? I don't, I can't no, see. No, no. You cannot have a full stop. Uh, otherwise, in the university is going to be a sentence fragment, which is another problem. So you can always say at university. Um, I don't. I don't think it's a major error anyway. Okay. Thank you, for, um, Fauzia. Okay. Can we have somebody else? Hello. Uh, yes, doctor. Okay, go my ahead. Name, my name is Hala. Mahmoud is studying mathematics. It should be mathematics. Okay. Do, do you think that the subject, uh, I mean, uh, uh, subjects should be also capitalized or uh, what, what do you think? Mahmoud? Uh, no, you I mean, mean mathematics? Ah, yes. Uh, have, you, have you ever seen it this way without uh, the M capitalized? Uh, I think no, it's better to be capitalized. So, uh, okay, so you're going to uh, capitalize it and add S, right? And add S, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go on, Yahala. You have one more error. Okay, Dana cooks big meals. Mahmoud eats big meals. Dana and Mahmoud like different things. Mm -hmm. So it's different, not different, right? Yes, different things. Okay. Can, mm -hmm. can, can we finish this off with you? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. they love each other. Uh, I, I, I don't see a problem here unless they want us to use one another, right? 
they um they love one another yeah that's um yes. I mean, there is a line <laughs> um, yes or um, they love each other come on I'm, I'm saying it's it's um, it's either way, but uh, yeah. if it's an error, uh, let's put uh, one another. Okay, let me ask you about your branches. Doctor, I think uh, because uh, yeah, they okay. say two different things. Uh, he loved this and she loved this, but they love each other. I think it's we need to put something like but or to... Uh, what, what do you think, Doctor? Um, well, that's a, it's a good idea, Fauzi. Um, but they love each other. Let me check if we will give it choices. Um, I don't see... Um, can you see uh, any difference? If he's giving us choices, they love each other. They each love others, each love the another. <laughs> so they love each other, oh, Okay, so this is not. Uh, um, I, I, w I was talking about the branches that I need to uh, kind of know about the branches that you guys are uh, from. Um, okay, so uh, let's start with Fauzea. Fauzea, which branch are you in? Uh, uh, you mean what Riyad, I said? Riyadh, Riyadh, the man. Riyadh, Riyadh, Riyadh. So Fauzi is from Riyadh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, all of you, come to the mic individually and tell me where you're from. Um, Hala. My name is Hala Lahab. Uh, I am in the branch of Riyadh. Yeah. Okay. Riyadh. Okay. Riyad. Go on. Who, who else? Come to the mic and tell us where you're from. My name is Sultan Salah, and uh, branch is from uh, Riyadh. Riyadh, okay. Okay. Faris, where are you from? Uh, I'm from the north, but I actually live in Riyadh. So. You're from what? From the north. I mean, what branch are you signed up in? <laughs> uh, Riyadh branch. Riyadh, you're Riyadh. Ah, oh, okay. But you're originally from the north. This is what you're trying to say. Uh, north means what? what? Ha'il, Tabu? Uh, actually, Tuaif, in the northern borders region. Uh, you, you'll have to perhaps talk to me about that later, Len. I'm not, I'm not well versed with the, <laughs> the map of Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's actually too far from here, so <laughs> about 1,500 kilometers. So. Mm -hmm. My shop. Okay, first. Thank you so much. Can we have somebody else? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. You, work, you, you work in the Riyadh branch? Me? Yes, because. Uh, mean Finn? Anna, are you talking about me? Yes, doctor, about you, yes. Yeah, I am in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I am here in Jid. Welcome, doctor, but I know. Okay, can we have somebody else? Uh, perhaps we can, I mean, whoever, whoever corrects something can also uh, tell us about uh, the branch he or she belongs to. In order to save time, let's have something else. Okay, so you guys have two minutes. <clears throat> uh, I know this is easy, but these are mistakes that we, uh, because perhaps because of how easy they are, we make uh, those kinds of mistakes.
Jesús. Okay, let's do it. Yes, doctor. Yeah, who's Hello, that? Doctor. Yeah. Uh, Yasmin. Yasmin. Yasmin what? Yasmin Salha. Okay, Yasmin, go ahead. Uh, my name is Mickey. Today is uh, Saturday, March. Yeah, this is not how we say it here. If you say it this way, it means that there is no full stop, and I can see that there is a full stop. Can you say it again? Yeah. Read, 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 read. read My right. name, yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Mickey. Mayuki. Mayuki. Yeah. Okay. Today and then, is. Then, and then you you take a, a little breath and then you start a new sentence. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go. Okay. Go. Yeah, read it again. My name is Miyuki. Mm -hmm. uh, today, today is Saturday, March fourth. Okay, so today is Saturday. Uh, okay, go ahead. I'm going to shopping. No, no. I mean, uh, we're not done with. Um, you said that you're going to use the ordinal ordinal number fourth, right? Yeah. Okay. So don't you think that we need uh, perhaps to separate Saturday from March by a comma? Yeah, we need, yeah, we need a comma. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, doctor. Um, uh, okay, Yasmin. So, you, do after, you have after Saturday, after, after Saturday, we need a comma? Yeah, yes. If you don't mind. <laughs> yeah. March 4th. Uh, okay, go on. I'm going to. I am going, not I uh, going. Okay, so let me ask you whenever you have the directional to, you need a place. Do we have a place after going to? No. Okay, so in this case, you're going to keep it as is. So you're going to say, I am going shopping. So you yeah. go shopping, you don't go to without shopping. Without to, without yes. to. Yes, I'm going shopping with my daughter, Misuzu. Okay, thank you so much, Yasmin. Which branch are you in? Hi. Hi, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Let me just tell you, let me congratulate you on your performance. You're doing an excellent job. You are developing very fast. Thank you so much, yeah, Yasmin. Thank you, thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Yeah, let's let's have somebody else. So she's 12 years old. OK, can we have somebody else? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, doctor. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I think it's correct as it is. We are going to buy clothes. Uh, it's about this repetitiveness that we are all against. 
So can we kind of tweak it a little bit so that it, uh, it, it doesn't sound too repetitive? I mean, the structure, I'm talking about going to, going to, going to. Can we say we're buying clothes? What do you think? Uh, I'm sorry, I did not get that. Uh, I'm Can saying that please? perhaps, uh, perhaps uh, this is a style issue, not a grammar issue. Um, yes. So you mean we should like change the sentence? Uh, perhaps so we can. Uh, yeah, I mean, instead of having going to, we can uh, think of something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, can you say we're buying clothes, for example? Yes, we're mm -hmm. shopping for clothes. Well, um, yes. Yeah, it's a little bit long, and we'll have we're having going, 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 going. You see how many yeah. going we have? Yeah. Uh, this mm -hmm. is a, a style problem. I mean, uh, languages are about uh, innovation, not about repetitiveness, right? Right. Okay. I agree. All right. Can we have, uh, would you like to do one more? Um, okay. Uh, wants to buy, uh, wants uh, a boot black, wants new black boots. So, Ms. Uzu wants, okay. Uh, wants uh, new black boots. Okay. Can you say it? I mean, the sentence, can you say it straight right from the start? Okay. Ms. Uzu wants. Mrs. Who wants a new black boots and a new winter coat. Okay. So new, not a new, right? Wants a new Mrs. Who wants a new black boots and a new winter coat. Uh, yes, it uh, works. Uh, are you saying and with boots? No, I think Mrs. Who wants new black boots. Oh, That's okay. it. We just like switch them, the black with the boots. We put black first. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, five. Can we do five and six? Can we have somebody uh, for five? Different. Okay, what's your name? This is Amjad. Amjad, go ahead, Amjad. Uh, I need uh, new pairs of clothes. Ah, uh, uh, you. I need new pairs s of gloves. Yes. Okay, excellent, yeah, Amjad. Uh, Would you like to do one more? Yes. yes. Uh, we are also going uh, to buy a uh, birthday. Present. Uh, for for Ms. Uzu's friend. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, Amjad. Where yeah. are you from? I'm from Medina. Medina. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Amjad. Okay. You're doing an excellent job, too. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, can we have eight? Yeah, Mahmoud. Do we have say? Mahmoud with us? No, we are. Sultan, can you do uh, eight, yeah, Sultan? Are you still with us, yes, Sultan? If not, we can have somebody else. Uh, there was a female voice, go ahead. Sir, can I answer, please? What's your name? Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I, I can. Know. What's your name? So, okay, right? Uh, tomorrow it's written wrong. Grammarly, uh, so it's two M. It's just M. Tomorrow. Uh, we should drop one M. You mean what tomorrow? Okay. Tomorrow is her birthday. Yeah. Um. Okay. So what's your name? Amira. Amira. Okay. Where are you from, Amira? I'm from Romania, but I'm I'm living in Riyadh. Uh, so you're you're in Riyadh. You're registered in Riyadh, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. 
Okay, I, I think we'll stop on this note and with this item. Um, like I said, we still have time. We can always uh, schedule um, an hour or two. Um, you know, uh, are you are you free on Thursday? Can we have something on Thursday? Yes, no problem, doctor. Uh, and we can meet for. We don't have to meet for two hours. If it's revision, it can also it can only be for an hour. What do you think about? It? Can you yes, make it after six or it has to be at four? No, it doesn't have to be at four. It can be um, at six. And in this case, um, I'll do it from home, which is fine. On, th on Thursday? Yeah, what do you think? At four, I think it's good. Uh, you mean four is better than six? Yeah, in my opinion. So agree, agree among us yourselves, and let me know in uh, in, uh, in the group. How about that? Okay. Yeah, somebody is raising her hand. Mayada Al Harustani. Okay. So, um, like I said, uh, we're going to stop on this uh, on this note and with this item. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on Thursday. Assalamu alaikum. Excuse me, doctor. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the email we got about the final exam didn't uh, specify how we're going to take it, uh, whether it's going to be in campus or of online. Of course. What are you talking about? We've been doing... <laughs> uh, perhaps... Uh, of course, everybody knows that it is going to be on campus. Right, and, and I there is so many uh, final exams. I kind of get confused about it. You, you don't know about the time. I mean the date. No, no, I, I know about everything. I'm just okay. confused whether it's in campus or not. Uh, it is. It is, of course. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, like my Doctor, can I ask a question, Doctor? Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, doctor, uh, about the final exam, what do you mean? Uh, about the remarkable final comment. What we can talk about what? This is what, this is where, in the essay part? Uh, in the essay, yes. You mean, um, this is the conclusion part. In the conclusion, you should come up with a comment. And this comment should be nice, should be relevant. Remarkable means relevant. It has to do with uh, whatever you said uh, previously in the essay. Okay. okay. Thank you, Doctor. Do doctor? Yes. Uh, in uh, exam, if they give us a paragraph and editing the word, if they uh, they are put the line under the words no. or... Uh, no, 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 they wouldn't, no. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, doctor. Yes. Maybe I have a problem for the voice today. Today. It's okay. I'm so sorry. That's okay, Amaya. I am from uh, Riyadh. From Riyadh. Nice. Yes. Okay. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Well, I'll see you inshallah on Thursday. Assalamualaikum. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you so much, doctor. Okay.